1983, the White House initiates a think tank dedicated to bolstering America's national defense with sci-fi weaponry of the future. What if free people could live secure in the knowledge that we could intercept and destroy strategic ballistic missiles before they reached our own soil or that of our allies? Ronald Reagan won election to the presidency. And he asked a retired four-star Air Force general to write the transition team papers on the space and air defense. Jerry Purnell convenes a committee of experts to advise on the project. One name springs immediately to mind. It was important not to just come up with papers that had scientific merit, but that they be readable that somebody might actually sit down and read the darn paper. So we had Heinlein at one of the meetings, came Clark. There were a number of science fiction writers interspersed in with people like the best rocket scientists this country had alive at that time. As the group is briefed on the potentials of space technology, Heinlein envisions a new paradigm for defending freedom. When he began to be aware in the science community that there was a possibility of putting up satellites that could shoot down nuclear weapons, he became highly committed to this. They wrote a letter, he got onto Reagan's desk, and then Reagan announced what eventually became Star Wars. One of the phrases was, would it not be better to prevent these deaths than to avenge them? And Reagan used that in his address to the Congress on the subject. Star Wars would consist of several new technologies to create a virtual missile shield. When Soviet missiles are launched, heat from their booster rockets is detected by a network of geosynchronous satellites scanning Soviet airspace with infrared sensors. Once the missiles are acquired, the system's targeting computer can deploy several weapon platforms to knock them out. Satellite-based kinetic warheads, satellite-based X-ray lasers, and ground-based X-ray lasers. The Strategic Defense Initiative's work continues today as the renamed Missile Defense Agency. Modern MDA lasers are capable of intercepting incoming missiles, just as Heinlein's group predicted. Not all of Heinlein's predictions have had such dramatic real-world effects. But that may have been Heinlein's point all along. I think Heinlein would probably be more interested in how many people helped to avoid some of the things he warned about. He'd be at least as interested in that as how many of his predictions came true. On May 8, 1988, at the age of 81, Robert Heinlein dies peacefully in his sleep. A few months after.